Now that NSS has released Sourcefire's 8250 Next Generation Firewall Product Analysis Report, I'd like to take a moment with you and discuss some important considerations when evaluating Next Generation Firewalls. The three things I'd like to talk about are security effectiveness, device performance, and total cost of ownership. When evaluating Next Generation Firewalls, security effectiveness is rather important. There isn't much point in deploying a device that can't stop attackers. Fine-grained application control with the ability to block actions within the applications is absolutely a requirement. It's also a requirement for the device to be able to block the vast majority of attacks that are seen as soon as they're known. Sourcefire achieved 98.9% .9 of threat prevention coverage in the NSS tests. We believe the best the industry has seen so far in next-generation firewalls, and it is on par with our next-generation IPS. We also achieved 100% resistance to known evasion. It's important to note that a vendor's rating on a security device often is not the actual performance achieved when deployed. NSS uses what they call a real-world protocol metric for determining a device's rating. Sourcefire is proud to say that we achieved 100% of our rated performance in this test, and the 8250 is rated by NSS and Sourcefire as a 10 gigabit next-generation firewall. You also need to consider, when looking at performance, not just the throughput of the device, but the ability of the device to maintain state for all connections. Sourcefire achieved the maximum allowed in the NSS testbed of 15 million concurrent connections. Not tracking concurrent connections means that an attacker is often able to avoid inspection by the device by flooding state tables. Sourcefire achieved $33 per protected megabit in the NSS TCL rating. This rating is based on three years of acquisition, support, management, and tuning costs. It also includes assessment of the device's effectiveness, such that you have an accurate representation of any given device's total cost of ownership as it relates to delivering security at the rated throughput for a deployment that will last three years. Thank you. I hope the things I've discussed have provided some value in your assessment of deploying next-generation firewalls.